my channel. I'm Rosa, and on this channel, we make plant-based food for you and your family can enjoy. So I want to share with you today because we went to Guadalajara last week, which was amazing, it was fun, and they had so many vegan options there. And one of the things that stood out for me was a place called El Vegano, and it has this fish taco, fish taco that we really enjoyed, and it tastes so good, guys. But it was made with cauliflower. So I was like, oh, I can do that. It tastes good. I want to replicate this kind of a recipe for you guys because I want you to see how delicious this taco was, and it was really easy to make. So I tested it a couple times here in the kitchen, and I'm gonna share with you right now how to do it, all right? So let's get started. So what you'll need is a half of a head of a medium cauliflower, and I cut it in half, washed it, and cut it into bite-sized pieces. It should come out to about two and a half cups of cauliflower. Boil the cauliflower till it's fork tender, but firm so it can hold its shape. Remove the cauliflower out of the water, and I like to put it on a lined baking sheet with paper towels on it so it can fully dry. So the fish taco that we had at the restaurant, it was great. However, I felt like the cauliflower was a little bit bland, so I decided to make my own fish seasoning, and I used some nori sheets to make it taste more fish-like. So here's the ingredients for the seasoning. For your fish seasoning, you'll need a half a tablespoon of salt, a half a tablespoon of pepper, I use white pepper, one tablespoon of paprika, one teaspoon of garlic, and one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of thyme, and one teaspoon of oregano, and just blend that up and put it in a container, and then you can also use it for any other recipe that you have. And finally, you'll need one full nori sheet cut into small bite-sized pieces. So now that our cauliflower is all drained off on a paper towel, we went with all that liquid. Now I put it on a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper so that we can do a nice clean seasoning on our cauliflower. So I'm gonna add some of that seasoning on. You can add as much seasoning as you like. I just like to get a little bit of dust because I want it to have some flavor, guys, you know? We're all about the flavor. You can flip them over, do a little bit more seasoning on it, but you wanna get them nice and covered with the seasoning. You can't be having no bland cauliflower, cause you know, cauliflower takes on any flavor that you add to it, cause it's really pretty much plain, you know? So we want it to make some flavor to this bad boy. All right, that's about enough, I think that's good. Just as long as each one got a little bit of spice on them. And then we'll save the rest of that spice for later. So we're gonna add our nori, nori <laughs> our nori sheets on it so that it can get that fish flavor. And the cauliflower is still moist. It's not really wet, but it's still moist even though we drained it off on the paper towels. And it's gonna allow this nori sheets to adhere to it. So kind of like push it into each one of the cauliflowers because this is gonna give it that fishy flavor. So after sprinkling the nori sheets all over your cauliflower, you're gonna let it sit for like three minutes so that it can stick to the cauliflower, okay? Then we're gonna batter it up. So in order to batter our cauliflower, we're going to use some tempura batter. It's, you can find this at any grocery store. It's simple, it's easy, and we just don't wanna make it so messy. So what I'm gonna do is use one cup of the tempura flour to one cup of cold water. It has to be cold water, okay? And it should say that on the package. So let's do that right now, make up our batter. Wow, that's messy. All right, also note, make sure you put a clip on that to close that when you're done from using it because it will be a mess, clearly. All right, so do about one cup, and it's always just to even them out. One cup, one cup, or one half cup, half cup, whatever you wanna do. So if you're making a larger bat, uh, batter or a larger batch, just equal amounts of uh, cold water to equal amounts of tempura. Let's get that in there. And at first it's gonna look liquidy, cause I was like, what the heck, why is it so watery? But then it'll start sticking up. So don't be afraid, don't be alarmed when you see this wet mess. <laughs> it will thicken up guys 
as you let it sit. So the reason why I lined the baking sheet, put the cauliflower and everything on this one sheet, because it's gonna make it so much easier to clean up, and we're gonna pour the batter all over the cauliflower instead of taking one by one, dipping it, dipping it, because that's just a hot mess. So what we're gonna do is just pour, totally saturate the cauliflower and go from there. So check it out. Just make sure you pour it on evenly over each piece. So in order to test your uh, oil, and here I have some uh, coconut oil. So in order to test it, a good way to test it, without sticking your finger in it, you'll see the bubbles coming up. But also, if you have a wooden chopstick, you can put it in like that and see the bubbles. That means that your oil is ready to be fried and it's not overheated, okay? Make sure each piece is saturated and make sure that nori sheet is connected to your cauliflower. You don't want to overcrowd the pan either so that they can get nice and crisp. So you can do this maybe in three batches. So let's make our uh, fish taco dressing. So in the bowl I have a fourth cup of vegan mayonnaise, a fourth cup of vegan sour cream, and one finely minced garlic clove. I'm gonna to add to that a teaspoon of lemon juice, a half a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of dried parsley, and one tablespoon of dried cilantro, a good pinch of salt, and a dash of pepper. And let's get that all stirred up. All right, so I'm so excited because everything's done. All right, guys, we have our crispy fish for our fish taco, which is made with cauliflower and some nori sheets and some tempura batter. Woohoo! And I warmed up some of our tortillas. I just grabbed some flour tortillas. They use corn tortillas, but that's okay. You can use any tortillas that you like. So we're gonna grab two of those. And we can double them because a lot of time when you get street tacos, they double them or you can do a single, it's up to you. But it does help to hold everything in. We got us some shredded carrots right here. I shredded earlier. Some cabbage, they use red cabbage. I just, that's all I had on hand. Your favorite salsa and that sauce that we made, okay? So let's build one up real fast. Yum, yum, yum. You can put like two or three nice sized peach. I want a crunchy, little crunchy. They're all crunchy, guys. So what I did was uh, with a tempura batter, when you're frying it, make sure you have it on high. Because if you have it on too low of a temperature when you're frying it, they're not gonna get crispy. So definitely put them on high, okay? When you're crisping that up, let's load that up. Yum, I'm so excited, my mouth is watering. Let's put this on first. How about let's do a little bit of carrots, because they had some carrots on theirs. They had red cabbage on there, got a little bit of cabbage on there. Yeah, you gotta make it look good. Put some sauce on there, our fish sauce. I don't know what they call it. It's kind of like, I guess kind of like a tartar sauce. Oh, I need a spoon for the salsa, hold on. Grab a quick spoon for our salsa. Just a little bit, because this salsa we got from the Elixir Spot, our favorite vegan place here in PV. So it's, it's pretty spicy, so I don't want to put too much of that on there. And there is our vegan taco. It is a delicious fish taco. I'm gonna get a bite of this, and let you know how it tastes. That's really good. Ugh, that fish, that dory sheets, Nick, it gives it a really good fish flavor. The seasoning with the fish seasoning as well, perfect, delicious. I know you guys are gonna like this one. I'm absolutely positive. So be sure to make this delicious fish taco with cauliflower. I'm telling you guys, you will not be disappointed. So let me know if you make it. Comment below when you do make it, okay? And share some pictures with hashtag the divine chef so I can find you and repost. So with that being said, I am Rosa and I will see you on our next video. Peace out guys. Love you, bye.
I know you guys are gonna like this one. I'm absolutely positive. And I think even your non-vegan friends will like it as well. So definitely make this delicious. Sorry, I put my mouth. Let's start that over.